My name is Michelle Prescott, and I'm the founder of Texan Gun Rights. And I'm Tammy Kuntz, and I am the co-founder of Texan Gun Rights. This event here today, this is about, you know, getting our legislators to do what they need to do. They need to get these bills out of the committee, onto the House floor, so that we can have a vote. HB 700, which is the open carry bill. We have um, the Senate Bill 182, which is the campus carry bill and also HB 3218, which is really a biggie because that one, in a sense, would null and void all gun-free zones across the state of Texas. My name's Drew Springer from Munster, Texas, House District 68. I authored House Bill 3218, which deals with CHLs anywhere, meaning you, if you have your CHL, you should be able to carry concealed anywhere in the state of Texas. We see the new technology, the 3D printable gun technology, you're familiar with that? Yes. Okay, now do you think that's covered under the Second Amendment? I think so. I mean, again, it's uh, an infringement issue, uh, and he's free to do anything else he wants with that technology. When it comes to the 3D printable uh, firearm, technology needs to keep up with, you know, what's happening, and the, the police, uh, are, they need to keep up with what's going on. And if they can't keep up, then that's, the, that's on them. And what are they going to do? It's, it, it was downloaded like 100,000 times, and it's on 23,000 different websites. I mean, there's no way stopping it now. The printable is so new right now that we don't really know what's going on. But my understanding is that that is actually going to be more expensive to actually do that at home than to go buy a gun at a gun store. Well, we were aware that Austin City Council Member Mike Martinez said in a recent speech that he wants to make the gun ban legitimate. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently. But. Because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your sign legitimate shortly. I saw the YouTube of that and it, it, it made me want to get in my car and drive down here and just try and talk some sense into him. But at that point, when a person is that far gone, <laughs> there really is no talking any sense to them. He can't do that. That, that was settled in 1795. We've already fought for that gun right. I think it's silly. I think every everywhere you look, from the FBI statistics to just comparing places uh, that have gun bans, it shows that they don't work. Councilman Martinez needs to focus his attention on relieving traffic off of I-35 and keep his hands off of our Second Amendment rights. We want to vote now! We want to vote now! We want to vote! Now, did you know that on July 4th in Washington, D.C., they're going to have an armed march with people carrying loaded, I stress, loaded rifles strapped to their backs? Yes, I do. How do you feel about that, and would you participate in something like that if you could? Um, I'm not going to say whether I participate about it. Uh, I've been thinking it over in my head, but I do support it. Uh, it takes a certain type of people to make that type of message. I think uh, Adam Kokesh and all his supporters are the right type of people. I'm interested in going to Washington, D.C. I don't know about the ammo. The Constitution says we can carry weapons. It doesn't say loaded or unloaded. But I would not, I prefer not to go loaded. I feel we should be able to carry them anywhere at any time. Uh, however, this particular situation you're talking about, if I could participate, I would. Uh, I'm currently not able to, but I support everyone doing it. I'm in the same boat. I mean, as far as I feel about it, loaded, unloaded, what difference does it really make? You know, the same boat as him, if I could go, I would. If you're gonna carry it, they should be loaded. They have a purpose, they need to serve that purpose, uh, although safely. Uh, however, I am very interested, and I will be watching uh, the, the Washington event very closely. Um, some things need to change, and it's time to change. You can only afford to lose freedom one time.